Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm here with our May 28th new releases. This is my first time filming since I'm back, so it's been like two weeks since I've done a video. Um, so I'm a little rusty, that's why, but we're keeping it simple this week with our usuals. We have two new kits and then we have some foil. We have a good chunk of permanent foil and then like one seasonal sheet, I think. Yeah, I think that's what we got going on this week. Um, just glancing over that. And then of course the two kits, like I mentioned, um, I am a little jet lagged right now. Um, it, it was a 13 hour difference. So still recovering, even though I got back on Saturday and good news. If you've been following along with the saga of how ugly this is, I bought contact paper in Korea. That's like the same texture as this table. Um, I was going to buy it here, but it was like a dollar and 20 cents for one that would cover this whole table. So I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm picking that up. Um, just saving that for a, when I'm not so tired task. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's just go ahead and get into it. Looking back, I probably should have just filmed my new release video for coming back before I left, but I also didn't anticipate being this tired. So we'll just see how it goes. Emma's been waking up. I've had no problem sleeping through the night. It's Emma. She keeps waking up at like two or three o'clock in the morning and won't go back to sleep. So that's fun. But she's daycare's problem today. <laughs> she didn't have school uh, yesterday. So anyway, let me stop rambling. So we have some more of those like full box like borders, but these are like more intricate and a little bit more detailed than like the other ones that we did. Um, I think we released those while I was gone, um, or did I release those right before I left? I can't remember, but it was recently. Um, and they were just like, kind of like lines that kind of border the box, but this is like a little bit more of like little like frame pieces. I don't know. So that's those. Um, as usual, you can pick up all these items for an additional 10% off this week. Really good for things like these basics, um, because... It's just a good deal for basics that you can use year round. But anyway, so here we have the vintage days and dates. So this is a little bit different. You get um, four weeks of days and then a whole, I guess, like basically four weeks of um, dates as well. And they're the same font, so they go really well together. Next are these sketch dividers. I don't know. I really like these. These are really fun. So these would actually probably work really well as a little full box, full box frames as well. Like the sketchiness of them. I don't know. I'm really into like the sketch things in case you haven't noticed with like that whole like sketched like box collection that I did quite a while ago now that I think about it. Um, so yeah, this was a $2 Tuesday at one point. Um, I've seen some people use these, um, Tay from Shante Plants uses, um, has used these, uh, quite a few times, I think. Um, so we have these vintage quotes. So you have the like solid ones and the not like basically like what would go inside of where it's not foiled here. And these, in case you can't tell, are like the full like strip. So you can like cut them where you want. And of course, these are just like individual words um, where you can just, it's not a strip, it's just like cut around the word contour cut. Um, and then next we have some stamps. This is just a variety of different like kind of like distressed stamps. So we have like some filled in ones and like some sketch ones. And then this is like the only seasonal sheet. I haven't even been looking at the camera. Maybe I should just zoom out just teeny tiny bit. Um, this is only like seasonal sheet this week. So we have this summer postage and this is really giving me like, I don't know, going on a cruise vibes, like stopping at the beach. I've never even been on a cruise. So I don't know why I'm like pretending what it's like, but kind of like traveling abroad, but to like via cruise. That's the vibes I'm getting from that. So that's the summer postage to go with those 
sketch dividers, we have the matching sketch washi. And then these, you guys like the typewriter, just trying to branch out into some different letter options. So we have these like ransom letters, kind of like the ransom notes where like they cut the stuff out of like newspaper clippings and stuff. It's a little, it's not exactly that, but I mean the, the way that they're cut and the shapes and stuff like that are giving ransom note vibes. So we have ransom letters. I just thought these were so cute. So there is that for the foil this week. Like I said, as usual, oh, my room is not happy. I'm not sure if you can hear. Okay, lady, I get it. I'm not sure if you could hear her. She got stuck on the like the table that we use to like sew the deer me stuff. It's got like the feet that kind of like stick out for like stabilization and she got stuck on it. So now she thinks that she's falling off a cliff. Um, but we don't have any cliffs here in the warehouse that I'm aware of. So I think she's being a little bit dramatic. Um, but that's like the second time that she's told me and I cannot be bothered to take her off and put her where she needs to go. So she's going to chill there, but I hope that she stops yelling at me. Anyway, uh, Let's get started with the kits this week. So this first kit is called Lavendula. I'm going to pretend like I pronounced that correctly, even though I'm not sure what the correct pronunciation is, but I also don't know how else you would pronounce it. So um, lots of purpley vibes. This is in rose gold. We have this little walkway here with a foiled letter, really kind of like vintagey florally vibes going on. We have a little picnic basket here that has um, like foiled fruit and a drink. The quote says, keep life simple. A little car here with a license plate that has like the abbreviated version of lavender. And a basket here be some postage here. Um, this really pretty house with a sign in the front. And then like more like florally foiled pieces, less like the like Mm, what have people been calling it? Like that floral foil that kind of like outlines it. I don't, I don't remember what people call it now. I'm completely blinking. I'm so tired. But anyway, so that is that. Um, here are the colors of the kit. We have two different shades, three different shades of purple here. One's more of like a pinky color, and then we have a nude-ish color. Looks really good with the rose gold. I feel like with purple kits, I'm either really into it in silver or really into it in rose gold. I have a hard time, like, using gold with purple kits unless it's, like, a like really springy kit that's, like, paired with pink and blues and yellows and stuff like that. I don't know. Um, here we have the dot dash headers, and then, of course, you can see more of the colors here. I really love this texture on the paper. Here's the bottom washi. So much fun. I love this like vintagey scrapbook paper. And then of course the foil florals. The date covers are in that like neutrally color. You have your deco here as well. Here is the foil add-on. Love this add-on. This add-on is really, really versatile. In my opinion. Um, so you have dot dash, washi, and dividers. You have a bunch of like stamp, almost like pieces, and some like writing swatches. You have some like dried stems that are taped down. You have some of these like lavender sprigs, some bees with trails behind them, and more stamps, and then some of these washi tape swatch things. So I feel like this is a really versatile add-on that would go with, well with the root. I can English, I promise. Even though I was in a not English speaking country for two weeks. Um, you get what I'm saying. Versatile can be paired with tons of kits. I'm gonna stop talking now. Um, here is the deco add-on. We have 
horse florals, um, the cars from different angles. We have that little like picnic-y but like on a table and this is more like on the grass, that walkway, a watering can and a basket. Next we have the journal add-on. Really love that vintage -y scrapbooky paper. The floral deco add-on. These aren't the typical florals that we all are used to seeing, but they go really well with the kit, so of course had to use them. And then we have the alcohol ink swatches, which you can see here that a lot of the purple tones are a little bit more pink leaning-ish, so they're not like super like dusty, if that makes sense. Dusty makes it sound like it's gonna be ugly, but I love a dusty purple, but this is more of like a pink leaning purple. Um, onto our second kit, thankfully, because I don't know if I can English for much longer, much less stay awake. Um, <laughs> so here is the second kit this week and our last kit. Um, it's called Amalfi Coast. Again, I don't trust any of my pronunciations. Um, so we have this little cottage house-ish scene with some foiled birds on trees. It's really pretty coastal town scene, which actually reminds me a lot. I know this is obviously, I don't want to say obviously, 90% sure this is um, Italy. Um, always want to leave some sort of doubt in, so I don't make a complete fool of myself. Um, but we were in Korea and the we were in one of the cities called Busan and they have a lot of like clustered houses like this on the coastline. Um, so it's pretty interesting to see that um, like the similarities between that. I don't know. Um, then we have some food here, of course. Can't not have food. The quote says, collecting memories one des destination at a time. Here we have another little scene here with a foiled girl. And then we have this um, doorway with some lemons. Ooh. And then a foiled scooter Vespa thing. Here are the colors for the kit. We have a brighter yellow and a pale yellow. We have a blue and a green. I think I mentioned already but this is in champagne gold foil. Someone did ask about the add-on foil like if the kit's in champagne gold and we order the add-on in gold is it the same? And short answer no but it's pretty close. Um, we use different foil for our kits than we do our add-ons. Um, just because the foil that we use for the kits doesn't play nice with our transparent paper and our the foil that we use for our trans paper, transparent paper doesn't play nice with our kit paper for foiling. So they kind of fight with each other. So that's why they've always been different. But um, I don't know if you can kind of see here the difference between the two. Um, it's very, very minimal. Um, the the foil add-ons are like a tiny bit um, brighter and shinier um, but they're both very much like metallic and they're both more of a light gold this definitely is not a hot gold even though we just call it gold I don't want to call it champagne gold because I feel like it's not like truly like champagne enough like as much as this to be called a champagne gold but it is a lighter gold than like your typical like regular gold. So they do match pretty well um, in my opinion. Um, and I really don't think that they will make much of a difference in your spread. I did get that comment um, a little while ago in case anyone was curious. Um, but yeah, I personally think it's fine, but if it's going to bother you, then um, I mean, you have the information to do what you would like. Um, so here is the functional page. We have this really pretty pattern here that I just got done showing you. And then we have these foiled florals, of course your watercolor shapes. Um, I'm not really a yellow person but I'm kind of vibing with the yellowness of this kit. Here we have the 
yeah, just making sure that the lace on here matches the lace on the functional. Try to do it every single kit. Sometimes it falls through the cracks. Um, but this kit were fun. Um, so here's the lace. You have your um, washi, the thin and the thick strip. The thick strip has the foiled florals. And then we have that same pattern that was in the headers. Not exactly the same, but it's pretty... Um, they complement each other, so basically the same. Then we have the date covers in blue, and then your deco here featuring a lot of like greenery and lemons and of course food. Here is the foil um, add-on. This one actually has a noose, so that's gonna bother me, but um, here we have the same pattern that was on the washi, but we have the washi in the header version so these or not headers but dividers these dividers don't exactly match the headers but they do exactly match the washi so you could pull it in pull these in to match the washi but not be the exact same as the headers if that makes sense and then we have these little scenes here some lemon slices and other like pieces of lemon we have some birds on branches here and then just some of these like really cute signs and next, we have the deco add-on, which lots of lemons, trees, some lemon branches, that really pretty scene, this potted tree, and then, of course, florals. There's actually lemons in the florals, so that's why you're seeing a ton of lemons. Um, but here is the journal add-on. I really love this, like, blue watercolory. Like up here and here that's going on really cute and then we have the floral deco add-on like I said the florals have lemons in them hence the emphasis on lemons throughout the kit um, so there is the floral deco add-on this is a pretty bunchy trim so if you like your trim to be thinner you can definitely trim it to be thinner and like not lose the pattern itself. And then here is the alcohol ink swatch pad on. Which I have the exposure on my little side camera thing. Monitor, that's what it's called. External monitor. Um, turned up a little bit because I do turn up the exposure in my videos a little bit when I edit them. Um, because my camera film's a little dark despite the um, despite my lighting, but the exposure on my little external monitor is a little bit more than what I actually edit it to be. So sometimes when I'm looking at like this sheet in the monitor, it almost looks like there's nothing on the page on the screen. So that confuses me sometimes, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and stop filming now because I cannot stop talking. Um, and I feel like what I'm saying isn't even relevant anymore so that is everything for this week um i hope that you enjoy this week's new releases as usual you can save an additional 10 percent off of these items this week only um so yeah if you're thinking about picking up anything now is the week to do so for these particular items um and I believe that is everything that I have to share with you guys this week. Thank you so much for your patience while we were out of town. Um, slowly getting back into the groove of things. Um, jet lag has not been kind to us, um, but we are making do. And I think all of the May subscriptions, if you have subscribed... Um, we started packing those all up to go out. We made them all before we left, but we didn't actually pack them before we left. So those are all getting packed up. Either they've already been packed up and I'm not sure if the label's been made already or if they're shipping out today or tomorrow, sometime this week. But we've already started packing those up for you guys. So keep an eye out for that if you are subscribed. And I think that is everything. Um... All right, I hope that you guys enjoy the rest of your week. I will talk to you later. Bye.